Hi guys, Daniel Blake back again with a super super quick tutorial. You know I love these ones. Anything that saves me time is A plus in my books. Anyway, so we've got a photo of a living room and in the corner of the living room we have a fireplace. And of course a fireplace looks pretty dull and dreary if it doesn't have a fire running in it. And you'll know if you've ever taken a photo of an actual fireplace running, you're going to notice that it never quite looks the same as it did in real life. So instead of dealing with stock photography or taking your own stock and dealing with all that, Photoshop has a way of rendering in flames that takes less than 20 seconds to implement. First, I'll just get rid of this demo layer for you, and we're going to start by doing it afresh. So we're going to add a new layer, Control shift n we're going to call that Flames, and then it's as simple as this. Use the Pen tool, P for Pen tool, click on the left-hand side, then the right-hand side of the fireplace, it will draw a line. Here, use Filter up the top, click down to Render, then Flame. When you click here, you can change the length, the width, the height, how far they are apart, custom colors, the, and also the quality of how well it renders. So let's click Fine and click OK. Photoshop will render me some flames. Now, as you can see here, they're, they're quite tall. It looks like there's a, there's a wildfire going inside there. But all I'm going to do is hit uh, Enter, Control T, and now I can actually just obviously change the length and width myself so I can tame that fire down a little bit. Then if you want to make it blend a little bit better, we'll just move in so we can see it. We'll change the blending mode to screen. And that'll add this sort of sheen. If there's, a, if there's a glass or a reflection somewhere on the glass, it'll make it a bit more realistic. Of course, don't forget, this is on top of, of what you have here. So if you need to, you might need to add a mask later and use a small uh, eraser or brush to, uh, to brush away some of the flames that are in places they shouldn't be for, for whatever reason. Anyway, that is seriously it. That's all there is to it to render your own flames in Photoshop. It literally takes 20 seconds, looks amazing, and uh, that is A plus in my books. Anyway, guys, hope this was of some help. Um, leave a like if you liked it. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see what I can find. Thanks, guys. All the best.